today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know all about my favorite products for the month of May. We've got a little bit of skincare, makeup, and a little bit of hair as well. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Hey guys, it's your girl Jen Seen, AKA Jungle Naps, and welcome back to another video. If you're brand spanking new here and you love beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week and you don't wanna miss my live streams. So make sure you hit that notification bell as well. So this month I was really focus on trying a lot of different products. So I've got skincare, I've got hair, I've got makeup all in one. And the first one that I want to talk to you guys, you know, I'm really into skincare, not only facial skincare, but also body. And I love me a good lotion. This first one is the Jergens Shea Butter Lotion. It says it deeply conditions for three times more radiant skin. I love this stuff. It's just so moisturizing. I mean, I have such dry skin anyway, so it's really hard for me to find a lotion that moisturizes my skin, not just on the surface, but a little bit deeper. And I feel like this lotion penetrates so well, and it smells so good, and I love shea butter. And you know, I've bought pure shea butter in the past, and I've used it for my hair as well, but I don't like using it on my body because it's super hard to rub in, and I hate heating it up. I'm just lazy, so I wanna buy a lotion that's easy to spread, and uh, yeah, this is the one for me. I love it. If you guys have tried this one, definitely let me know what you think in the comments comments. Moving on to a little makeup action. I've got these Salon Perfect Lashes and they are the Go Glam Multi-Pack. So you get five pairs of lashes and they're really affordable. I forget off the top of my head how much they are, but I got this at Walmart super super budget friendly and they look beautiful if you're somebody that's really into like the more natural lash look like that's what you're feeling and you don't want something too intense like this is definitely something that you can wear to work and looks beautiful and I love with the design they're demi wispy so they've got that like flirty kind of feel I definitely do suggest if you go to get these you have to be a teensy bit more experienced with lashes because they do have a very thin band which I find kind of wobbles a little bit when you place it but if that doesn't scare you off then definitely check these out. Next up I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a hair product that I've been loving for a while now and this is like the only only thing that I want to use on my edges. So, so you guys know I wear wigs this is a wig that I made and I do have 4C hair if you've been watching my channel for a while you might have seen my natural hair videos and it's really really hard for me to find an edge control that will keep my edges laid all throughout the day but I really love the Silk Elements Straight Edges Edging Gel you can find this at Sally's Beauty and it's basically like a clear pomade that you put on your edges. I highly suggest slightly misting your hair with water before applying it and then just smoothing it on with your hand, tie a little scarf down on it and wait for a bit and it keeps my edges super 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 laid especially when I put on wigs and all that. I love it. I highly recommend it to you guys because it's also super affordable. Next up I want to talk about these two beauties. So these are the Natasha Denona highlights. Now I got originally the color 03 which is basically the darkest color. Now when you're looking at this you're like oh that's a bronzer right? Nah. -uh. When this goes on it's super like chocolatey golden is the best way to describe it and it's also a really subtle subtle highlight. It's just beautiful. Now I also got another color and I'm going to show you that in just a second. This color right here is called 02 in medium. Now this is more of a golden you know standard highlight color but what I like is this formula is really 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 subtle and you can also build it up if you want that like bling but you know for those of us that are just like you know regular I'm going to work I'm not always gonna be like super glam or I'm going to school it's such a beautiful beautiful natural shade like both of them are actually I'm just so impressed by the formula these are my first products from Natasha Denona 
and I have to say that I definitely think it's worth it. They retail for about $38 each, so they're not cheap, but these products will last you a while. I mean, it's gonna take you a long time to hit pan. Next up, I'm moving back to skincare. You know, I'm just kinda like switching and swapping between different categories. And this one here is from Derma E. It's their Purifying Youth Serum. I'm not sure if I featured it in a previous skincare video, but I love this stuff. And, um, you know, this is like my second bottle of it, I believe, and it does last a long time. I use this in the daytime as like a daytime serum it's nice and light and um, it does hydrate the face and it also has marine algae and green tea in it which is really really good for your skin and I recently discovered this at TJ Maxx so originally it's a bit pricey I would probably say closer to $20 or something like that it's definitely worth it but when I went to TJ Maxx, they had them on sale for like seven, eight dollars each. So I just grabbed like five or six of them and I was like, you are coming home with the meat. And uh, I'm pretty much stocked up for the rest of the year. But I love it. It's just so good. My skin always, I feel like it's like glowing when I use it on a regular basis. So if you guys are looking for something, especially if you have sensitive skin, this is it. It's also meant for normal to oily skin. So that's something to keep in mind. But they are amazing. Okay, so if you guys have seen my makeup tutorial using Glossier products, which I loved, I loved all those products, but the one that I've consistently been going back to is this one here. It's uh, called CherryBomb.com, and it's a universal skin salve, so you can put it on different parts of your body, but it's basically like cherry tinted, like back in the day when we had those like cherry chapsticks, and um, it goes on and it's almost translucent but it gives your lips how can I describe this like a like a just kiss kind of look so your lips are super moisturized and like plump and just I don't know it just like works wonders and I feel like it's so good for those days where it's like a light makeup or no makeup but you you don't really want to put anything heavy on your lips you just want them to be moisturized and cute um, I feel like this one like does the trick it's like a happy medium between like nothing on your lips but like also I'm still trying to be cute, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love it, I love it. So recently my skin has been going through a few things. So originally I actually have oily combination and sensitive skin. And my skin kind of went through a dry phase which was very, very weird for me. And then also I'm lactose sensitive or lactose intolerant. It depends on the product, but when I do have lactose products, it shows up on my face like bad like really 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 bad <laughs> but um, anyway you know I usually find that throughout the day if I use a matte foundation sometimes it will make my skin feel tight after a few hours so I missed this uh, Caudalie like beauty elixir and then this little bottle is the collab that they did with Jason Wu and I got this at Sephora a while ago and I originally wasn't too big of a fan of using it or like right after you finish your makeup, you know, because it doesn't do what MAC Fix Plus does, but it will kind of serve as a nice refresher spray. So what I mean by this is if, you know, throughout the day you're kind of looking at your skin and you're like, oh, I look a little bit like cakey or that product is breaking up around my smile lines or something, you spritz this little spray on it. And if you have a beauty blender, you don't have to do this. You can also use your finger, just kind of tap where it is, you know, where that product is. And it's really been so so nice for me as far as refreshing the makeup now if you're super super oily like this is not something that you need but if you just have like little spots on your skin that sometimes look cakey after your makeup has been on for a while or just need a little bit of a refresher then this is really really great for that so as far as taking off makeup is concerned I love using cleansing oils because I really feel like they just like get deeper than the surface and just take everything away <laughs> and I've talked about this one before this is the DHC deep cleansing oil and I've been using this probably since November and I mean a little bit goes a long way guys you don't need a lot and even though I've talked about this let me tell you I just realized something about this I originally thought and this is gonna seem silly that when you use cleansing oils you just rub it on your face and then you take a makeup wipe and just wipe it off 
That's what I thought. But with this one, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other cleansing oils, you rub it on your face and you work it out, and then you just take water and you just rinse it all off. Now, at first when I heard about this, I was like, no, no, there's no way you're gonna get all that makeup off. You have to go with a makeup remover and remove everything. But this one is so good, you guys. I mean, granted, you have to take the time to really like rub it in. Don't just like slather it in one go and then just be like, okay, you know? But it works so well. And the test for this, you know, how I really know that it works is when I take my Clear Sonic and then I go over it, I've found that there's actually like very little amounts of foundation or any makeup left. So I was like, dang, you know what? I think it's so good. And I think it's even better than the Tatcha uh, cleansing oil. I forget the exact name of it, but they only have one cleansing oil. So I got a little sample of that one and I compared it to this, and this one works way better. And the Tasha one is like hella expensive. So um, if you guys can find this, I don't think they sell it in the drugstores, but you can order it online. DHC Deep Cleansing Oil is bomb. So I've got a little bit more skincare to share with you guys. I recently got a Sephora Perks reward and it was the pharmacy honey potion now this is an antioxidant hydration mask and I mean I'm sure it comes in a bigger container I'm just showing you guys what mine looks like because it does last a long time it's kind of like a little like salve kind of consistency it doesn't really smell like too much but it is so good for your skin I feel like the next morning my skin is just like so so hydrated it's amazing and it's also really nice for sensitive skin it doesn't cause breakouts um, I'm, I've just been really digging it and I know that when I run out of my little sample I've definitely got to go back and purchase a full-size product okay so a little while ago I reviewed the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade caffeine and I compared it to my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer, the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. And you know, although I loved this one at first, like I thought, hey, this is really functional. There's nothing too bad I can say about it. It doesn't really crease. I will say that it, it took me a while to come out of my Smashbox funk because I love Smashbox. So this kind of just sat around for a couple weeks. And then I went back and I was like, you know what, summer's coming and I really want to start playing with more colors. And sometimes, you know, the Smashbox primer requires a little bit more of that matte Fix Plus when you're using a color to make it pop, but this one has been doing such a good job all on its own. So I know some of you guys really, really liked this one as well when I reviewed it, and I'm starting to come around and I'm starting to love it. I feel like sometimes you gotta take time to learn how to work with a product, and I finally found out how to work it just right into my makeup routine, so now I'm like really excited about it again. And it's just, I love the little applicator. It's so nice, the little sponge here. It's so easy to like spread on, and then I like to use a um, fluffy like concealer brush and kind of diffuse it out and then I'll set it with a little bit of powder and it really makes my eyeshadows pop like with what I'm wearing today these eyeshadows just pop so much because of that eyeshadow primer so if you guys haven't checked that out and if you haven't even tried the shade caffeine definitely go visit it because it for me is such a good good base for my skin tone and now I've been really really loving this cleanser so I've been using the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and it's a conditioning face wash so the reason I love this is because it's so good for people who have sensitive skin so you know obviously it cleans your face but it doesn't strip away anything so your face doesn't feel dry afterwards and it doesn't even break me out it's so nice now originally I like to use this as more of like a morning cleanser because I like to use something that's a little bit more you know robust and like has a little bit more like oomph to it when I remove my makeup but for this one when I'm just like rinsing off my face, rinsing off any like old product, or even after the gym, this is so good. And I love the little pump here too. Like I can lock it 
and I can open it so that I can just carry it around with me. The pump is so convenient and I'm really excited to repurchase it when I'm out of this one. And it's lasted like a while, like I've had it for almost a month or more maybe. And I've been using it on a daily basis. It's been living in my bathroom and I ain't mad at it at all. Okay, so now I wanna talk about some products that did not do a single thing for me this month that I'm kind of stuck with, unfortunately. So the first one, and I know a lot of you guys are not gonna be happy with me, but I gotta be honest, this one just didn't work out for me. I bought this one in a set. It's the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. It's, it's a mouthful. And I bought this one in conjunction with the Vitamin C Serum, and that one I love. But this one, uh-uh, you guys. It leaves my face feeling so dry. And I have oily combination skin, so I thought that this one was gonna be perfect for me. I've heard people rave about it. I just don't know if I'm not, if there's something extra I'm supposed to be doing, am I supposed to add oil to this? But this on its own just was not very impressive for me. And I felt like I had to go in with an additional moisturizer. Now, when you think about the cost of the full size product, you know, that's kind of a disappointment, but I think that if you're somebody who's really, really oily, then this might be good for you. But seeing as I'm only really oily in certain areas of my face, the rest just didn't look right, you know? Yeah, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions about how to use this product or incorporate it and how it works for you and what your skin type is, please let me know down in the comments. And the next item that I have, these are lashes. They're from Eyelore Exaggerate and they're the multi-pack. Now look, like they all look janked up and stuff because obviously I've used them, I've tried them on. and. I hate them. I hate them so much. I got them at Ulta and they looked like a really amazing, you know, little deal. Three pairs, they, they flare out, they look hella cute. But here's the thing, like I feel like when you put them on, they look so fake and plasticky. They just look like, and no shade, but they look like drag queen lashes. They, they just don't sit on the face right, you know? And don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for intense lashes. Like the ones I'm wearing right now are from Flutter Lashes and they just look lovely and flirty and they like flare out at all the right places. And this one was just such a big, disappointment. If you see these Eyler Exaggerate Lashes, just don't even waste your time. Unless you don't mind lashes that are like, you know, the, I don't like to say this, but the cheaper quality. I just feel like the lashes should complement your eye makeup and I feel like these do not. They make people look at your eyes and be like, what is she wearing? <laughs> you know, uh, and that's not what you want people to think when they look at your makeup. Girl, no, you spent too much time on that makeup to make people think that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, such is that. Maybe I'll give them to my little sister if she wants to play around with lashes or something. <laughs> so let me know, you guys, what products you've been loving this month. I always wanna know what you guys are digging, what you guys are into, because maybe you might put me on to something, which, hey, I'm not gonna be mad at, at all. <laughs> so I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.